When the even was come, there came a rich man of Arimathea, named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out of the rock, and he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulchre and departed. And there was Mary Magdalene, and the other Mary sitting over against the sepulchre. And now when the even was come, because it was the preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, an honorable counselor, which also waited for the kingdom of God, came and went in boldly unto Pilate, and craved the body of Jesus. And Pilate marveled if he were already dead. And calling unto him the centurion, he asked him whether he had been any while dead. And when he knew it, of the centurion he gave the body to Joseph. And he bought fine linen, and took, it, and took him down, and wrapped him in the linen, and laid him in a sepulcher which was hewn out of a rock, and rolled a stone unto the door of the sepulcher. And Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of Joseph, beheld where he was laid. And behold, there was a man named Joseph, a counselor, and he was a good man and, ju and a just. The same had not consented to the counsel and deed of them. He was of Arimathea, a city of the Jews, who also himself waited for the kingdom of God. This man went unto Pilate and begged the body of Jesus, and he took it down and wrapped it in linen, and laid it in a sepulchre that was hewn in stone, wherein never man was never wherein never man before was laid. And that day was the preparation, and the Sabbath drew on. And the women also which came with him from Galilee followed after and beheld the sepulchre and how his body was laid. And they returned and prepared spices and ointments, and rested the Sabbath day according to the commandment. And after this Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave him leave. He came, therefore, and took the body of Jesus. And there came also Nicodemus, which at the first came to Jesus by night, and brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about an hundred pound weight. Then took they the body of Jesus, and wound it in linen clothes, with the spices, as the manner of the Jews is to bury. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new sepulchre, wherein was never man yet laid. There laid they Jesus. There laid they Jesus, therefore, because of the Jews' preparation day, for the sepulchre was nigh at hand.